Hey friends, this video will give you three ways, three key ways for you to help yourself significantly increase motivation, focus, productivity, positivity, and success. And where motivation, focus, productivity, positivity, and success go, well, happiness and fulfillment are probably not far behind. It's a lot of good things, eh? Motivation, focus, productivity, positivity, success, happiness, and fulfillment, all great things. All right, here are my suggestions. And these aren't just my suggestions, by the way, because they're based on studies and interviews of highly successful people. And they aren't ranked in any particular order of importance, and I'm only giving you three of them because these are three really important ones, and each of them is highly advisable. They're constructive and resourceful. Okay, number one, have a non-negotiable meditation and mindfulness morning ritual. Notice I said non-negotiable and ritual. By this I mean you do it every day, no ifs, ands, or buts. See my other videos on creating new rituals, habits, and systems for scientifically proven best method of creating a new habit. When you create a mindfulness and meditation ritual, you have established a proven way to optimize your energy, focus, and productivity each day. Meditation and mindfulness get you calmed, centered, energized, present, and focused on your personal power, your priorities, and on your day's activities. Meditation and mindfulness increase your health, both psychologically and physiologically. They also put you in that optimal personal power state for peak performance and peak experiences also, also throughout your entire day. Again, see my other videos for more information on both meditation and mindfulness and also visualization. Without this practice, we often begin and continue our day with scattered focus, energy, and poor productivity. You know, Tim Ferriss, the famed author of such books as The 4-Hour Workweek, interviewed over 200 highly successful people to find out what their secrets were. And Ferriss found that 80% of these people have a morning mindfulness practice. Well, if they do it, it might be good advice for us. They get centered and focused on their energy and their priorities first thing each morning. They don't leave their focus, motivation, energy, and productivity levels up to fate, chance, or the motivation gods. Okay, the second new habit for you to establish is, and first, actually, before I go on to that, please like, share, and subscribe here on my YouTube channel and also at ChristopherBabson.com. Okay, number two. Each night, pick one mindset or self-improvement thing to focus on the next day. Have you ever read a book, gone to a seminar, had a conversation, or simply immersed yourself in thought and had a great aha moment? You know, where a light bulb flashed on and you told yourself, hell yeah, I'm going to do that, or I'm going to use that. And did you do that or use that? More importantly, did you habitually do or use it and at a mastery level? Well, I don't know you, but I know that you're a human being, and the chances are then that you're like 99% of the rest of us. Chances are you either didn't do it or use it, or you maybe kind of sort of did it once or twice. Then, because you hadn't yet retrained your subconscious to adopt it as a new habit or mindset or skill, you never really used it again. Keep an active list of the things you want to do, such as the things we're talking about here in this video and my other videos. Because the simple truth is it takes awareness, intention, great emotion, and ritual to create new beliefs and habits. Sometimes if we have an intense experience, our subconscious beliefs and habits do change in just a quick moment. That's not that common. Most often it requires purposeful, repetitive practice and emotion on our part. So keep a simple, abbreviated list of changes you want to make. Keep this list on your smartphone and your computer. Have alarms go off. Review it throughout the day every day. Pick one thing each day to focus on the next day. Write out reminders and alarms in your phone and computer for the next day and put paper stickets, post-its 
up around your uh, office or home and then focus on that one thing, that one change, the one new habit for at least one day, but probably for a week to three weeks, maybe even more if it's something significant and more difficult, takes more repetition. It most often takes a great compelling emotion and repetition, among a few other things, to affect deep, significant, lasting change. So create those mechanisms to remind yourself each day. Repost the word each day. Delete the language you used the day before. Create a new way to say what your intention is uh, each day that you're working on the same thing. Because if we leave the same notes or post-its on our phone, our computer, and the mirrors and the wall, it's easy for them to just become sort of part of our environment. Their power to help affect change in us diminishes or evaporates. By writing reminder, reminders out each and every day, and by forcing yourself to use different wording, different phrasing, and different aspects of the change you want to make each day, you force your, your, your mind to actively and creatively imagine and create the change you desire. This increases the neural connections in your brain that are associated with new knowledge, new habit, new mindset, new behaviors, and new results. It also creates new engaging and inspiring ways of perceiving the change you're after as a constant reminder each and every day. Don't ignore cliches. The aha moments you've had or the other things you see in the world that have become cliches to you and perhaps and probably to other people also. Often, we start to ignore these or minimize them because like the post-its and electronic reminders I've just suggested that you change every day to keep novelty in it, these cliches begin to seem obvious, simplistic, and old news, old stories. Because we've seen them so many times for so many years, there's no novelty, no newness, or no significant impact in them to us. But cliches become cliches because of the simple, often profound truths in them. So don't dismiss them consciously or unconsciously. Okay, my third ritual I'm going to suggest that will have a great positive impact on your attitude, your mindset, your motivation, your focus, personal power, your peak performance and productivity each day. That is, what do you think? Every evening or night, prepare for the next day. Every evening or night. Then let it go. For that night, anyway. Prepare the single word for personal development in your mindset, your attitude, and your action that you're going to focus on the next day. And prepare every night your daily activity so that you spend most or all of your time the next day on activities directly associated with your life main thing, your life passion, purpose, or main goal. This way, you're less likely to be distracted the next day by fire drills and other people. It also sets your mind to begin consciously exploring creative solutions while you sleep that night. That said, once you've done that, you've prepared in the evening, it's also important that once you've made your determinations for the next day, your choices, your goals, your word, your focus, then just let it all go because we don't want you going to sleep stressed with a racing mind or worried. Quality sleep is incredibly important to our physiological and psychological health and to our focus, energy, and productivity throughout the day, by the way. Consciously let the thing go before you go to sleep. Don't go to sleep in a worried state, an agitated state, or an overactive mental state. Just let it go. It'll be there in your subconscious working for you because otherwise you're likely to disrupt your sleep and we don't want that. Okay, that's three top tips for peace, personal power, peak performance, productivity, positive attitude, positive mindset, and success. A lot of stuff I know, but it's true. Remember, to see the other videos that I mentioned that will show you the proven best way to create a new habit, and also watch the videos on meditation, mindfulness, and visualization. Three most powerful tools for presence, positivity, peace, personal power, and success. Please like, share, and subscribe here and at my website, ChristopherBabson.com. Until the next video, peace, great, great personal power, and deep intrinsic prosperity in your passions, purpose, and your goals.